The five prime and three prime end of DNA seems to lead to a lot of problems. We all know that enzymes work along our DNA from the five prime to the three prime end. And so the new strand, because our DNA is anti-parallel, or our DNA mRNA complex is anti-parallel, that the new strand is formed from the three prime to the five prime end. But what does that actually mean? Well, let's draw a ribose for a minute. Ribose is the sugar in our DNA. It looks something like this. Now, chemists have to be able to number all the carbons in a molecule so that when they say, let's add a CWH group to carbon 2, they say that rather than the second carbon along from the oxygen. It would be quite messy. So they have a system of numbering. Here's the first carbon. That's carbon 1. Second carbon, carbon 2. Third carbon, carbon 3. Fourth carbon, carbon 4. And our fifth carbon in the ribose, carbon 5. We probably already remember that. Okay, from here we're going to have our nitrogenous base. Up from here, if I move this down slightly, we're going to have our phosphate. So now what I've drawn is a nucleotide. Every nucleotide looks like this. So for every single nucleotide, this is the 5 end, this is the 3 end. So if we look at how a strand is made up of nucleotides, I'm going to draw this in a very simplistic manner. Here is one side of our DNA. Now if we go back up, we see the top is the 5 end, the bottom is the 3 end. Therefore for every single one of these, that's the 5 end, 3 end, 5, 3, 5, 3, 3 end. Now because this stuff's anti-parallel, the other side of the DNA is like this. It's upside down. So therefore, the bit poking up that was 5 here becomes the 5 prime end here. 3 prime, 5, 3, all the way up. So in the end we say, well, overall that is the 5 prime end. Overall that is the 3 prime end on this side. And of course on the opposite side of DNA, it's going to be back the front.